Welcome. So we're going to take a look at OmniFocus 4, uh, specifically to see whether my old opinion that OmniFocus 4 was a legacy piece of software, not worth using, that people only use it now because it's OmniFocus and you have, it's, it was like the best task manager for a while, or whether the release of OmniFocus 4 has really changed my opinion. This came up literally just as I finished my look at NVIM org mode. There'll be a link in the description. I was about to move to Things 3. Literally, I was about to do it, and I got the email. I was like, well, I guess I'll just move to OmniFocus 4. Try it out for a few months. The current price of OmniFocus 4 is $149.99. That gives you access to macOS, iPadOS, iPhone, and Apple Watch. does not give you access to the web. Web is an extra $4.99, which I did use with my Linux machine off to the side here for a while uh, just to see how it worked with Linux or in the web view. The web view is actually okay. It's not terrible. If you have an old key for something, so I had an OmniFocus 2 key, uh, and I managed to get it for $74.99 then. So pricing-wise, I think it's uh, in line with what the value people can derive from the software. I'm not sure that I do. So I guess we're jumping to the end. Now let's actually look at the app. You can see I have OmniFocus 4 up here. I'm going to contrast with things three once or twice. So one of the big issues that I had early with OmniFocus was that you had to use the tab key a lot to move between things. And you still do. Uh, tab key is enforced a lot, but there are some new keyboard commands. One of the ones that you couldn't do before is go P, and now I can move this to any project I want. I can say content and move this to a project. Now, one of the things you can't do, which you can do in Things 3, is select. So I've multi-selected two with the keyboard, and I hit P, and nothing happens. Whereas over here, if I go, right, if I select one, Shift, and then here it's Shift Command M, I can now move these to project and they are moved and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's one of the things that really stops you from processing your inbox fast. You can't just grab multiple things in here and move them to the right um, area of your the right project really quickly because you have to select each one individually and then move it. Unfortunately, I'd love to see multi-select enabled. Another thing you can do now is I can hit N. So I have to escape. So there's actually a few different modes, but if I hit N now, I can actually, I'm in the note and I can actually manage the note easily. That's something you couldn't do. You had to go with the tab and, and formerly you would be up here entering your task. You had to go with tab, tab. And now I could get to it. Now I can just do it quickly with the N key and also command uh, single quote works for that as well. Now one thing OmniFocus doesn't do though is any real commands to split windows or to open up a specific list in a new window, which is something that Things 3 does. There are many keyboard commands for that to be able to do stuff like that. Um, and they work on Mac OS and they work on iPad OS as well, which is really nice, or in, I guess any split screen device. So uh, iPad OS being the only other main one. Now another problematic um, keyboard command is R. So in iPad OS, it brings up the repeat, but here it does nothing, right? It does nothing. So I can't actually go in and hit a repeat cycle. I have to actually go and hit inspect first. And I'm gonna scroll down to repeat, click repeat. And then I'd say, you know, every year for a photo album, every year. And then I would have a uh, do a yearly photo album set up. So to make our petition schedule, I hit Shift Command R, and then I have to come in and interact with the mouse, which is something you have to do in iPadOS as well. I have to interact with the touch controls to make it work. Whereas, in, like I said, in OmniFocus, there's no way to do it without actually just getting uh, with the mouse to make it work in Mac OS. So I'd love to see, again, centralized keyboard uh, commands in there, right? Even with splits, we can do, um, if I pick new, content let's say Christmas and I can hit uh, command enter and open it up you can see my list in a new window and this actually works in um, iPadOS as well so honestly there are actually more issues I have with OmniFocus nesting tasks on iPadOS is just a pain in the butt it takes like a long press and then you got to go down into a sub menu and then you can choose indent uh, and there's just other issues with it again specifically for me being uh, on Linux part-time as well not that this is a leave day with Things 3 either, but I can't actually really use it well on Linux because of the web-only view, which, again, Things 3 doesn't even have, so I'm not saying it's a contender in that respect, but it's just a limitation of OmniFocus. So overall, I think that if you haven't loved OmniFocus in the past, you are not going to love it now. There is no major change here that says, oh, OmniFocus is suddenly the best, and it's great. It's got some minor improvements, which is honestly a little sad after taking multiple years of beta to get to this point where it has minor improvements only. But that's, again, that's where we're at. It's a mature software. It is still by far, if you highly rely on the review process uh, of uh, Task Manager, OmniFocus, it has by far the best review process of anything, right? I can come in here, click review. Uh, I love doing this on my iPad, really, and it'll take me through security, 
right here is stuff mark reviewed and I can just go through mark reviewed <laughs> gets no omnifocus for mark reviewed mark reviewed and I could even I think from here I can even quit, quit this project I can come in here and status canceled the project dropped done mark is reviewed right home projects done all right, is there anything I need to do in here to build the emergency car kit? Uh, I should do a, I should actually say in here, tire air kit as well. All right, now I can mark as reviewed. So this process in OmniFocus is by far the best of any tool that I've seen. It is excellent, um, and it, that's where it really shines. I think otherwise, if you like OmniFocus, then you're going to like it. If you don't like OmniFocus, there's nothing here that's going to make you like it. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you love the video, subscribe, hit the bell, all that YouTube stuff. Otherwise, the best way to support the channel is to become a member of curtismichael.ca slash membership. Have an awesome day.